Mia, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Mia, I got a call from the college that's recruiting you to play soccer. If you don't get your grades up, they won't give you a scholarship. So, I know you love soccer, but you need to spend more time on school and you need to get your grades up. I have to go. What? <sighs> oh my god. Hello. Yes, this is him. Yes, that's my daughter. Okay. She's uh, failing a few classes. Jeopardizing her spot on the soccer team. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to her. Thank you. Thank you for the call. We need to talk. I have soccer practice. Hey, Dad, I'm home. Mia, I know soccer is very important to you, but you got to understand college is too. I need you to um, understand that the grades are important. You can't play soccer if you don't have the grades. Yeah, I understand. So I need you to start changing your attitude and focus on those grades so that you can play soccer. Hey, um, hey, I was wondering if you could tutor me math because I'm failing and I need to get this sports scholarship. Um, with what? With geometry. All right, yeah. Do you um, need help with homework or? Yeah. All right. I just, can you come today? At uh, your house? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there. Can you say anything for me? Are you available for your tutor session? Yeah, come in. Okay, so what do you need help on? I need help on writing a negation statement and the inverse of a conditional statement. Okay, so the inverse of a conditional statement is the negation of both the hypothesis and the conclusion. And when do I use indirect reasoning? When you use indirect reasoning, you prove all but one wrong. Oh, okay, I get it. Great work, Mia. Yes, finally. Hi, Mia. I'm, I'm here in the living room. I got my test back today. Oh, you did? Let, let's see. Oh, wow, Mia. See, I told you you can do it. Oh, yeah, this came in the mail, okay, for you also.